So, Scott Perry, this is uh, this this is the interview to, to, to I think to clarify a few things perhaps and and have a sort of mature uh, chat about it all. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, we can um, put a stop to to all of the bad things that are happening and um, kind of try to rectify uh, some misconceptions, some mistakes, some um, just all around try to try to uh, put this fire out, basically. Okay, so let me let me. So I'm I'm. Uh, there will be points in this interview where I'll have to be devil's advocate, obviously. Uh-huh. Um, so um, just take that uh, as it comes. Um, mm-hmm. But what I will say, so first of all, right? So you've, you've caused a lot of controversy with this um, uh, uh, review. Um, do you have Do you have any sort of regrets about 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 how you went about the review or anything at all like that? Okay, so I think uh, before before I can fully answer whether I have any regrets, I think it's it's really important to clarify that um, we'll we'll discuss some of the points that I've made, but um, you know I've not caused any problems here. I understand that people, some people have not liked what I have said. Some people have liked what I've said. And, uh, you know, I, I've tried to do my best. You know, uh, I, a few people have made comments about me and, you know, at the, at the weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I was away working at events. So I did my best to try to reply to as many comments as I could without, um, you know, talking negatively without saying bad things about people i was merely saying um and and st- still i i do agree with pretty much 99 percent of everything i say in the review so um i don't have any regrets about posting the review it is my honest opinion of the trick i think some things have been taken out of context a little bit and also i think that uh, I regret saying certain things in the way that I did because it, it maybe made it more difficult for people to um, to formulate an opinion uh, fairly. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, but, so, so. How, however, I do think that everyone should be responsible for their actions. So I, I, I have not caused any, I have not caused all of this drama. Other people also need to be responsible for their actions. And and I think there are certain people who, you know, have apologized and uh, for some things. And there are some people who haven't. And uh, I, I think that that is down to them. That's not for me to, to say about them. And it's not for, for me to judge them for it. So I think that's an important precedent to start with. The fact that I've, I've not I've not done any of this with malice. I even though all of the bad things that have been said about me. I I have no ill feeling towards Noel. I have no reason to tarnish him as a magician. I I am not familiar with any of his other magic releases. I have no issue. I'm disappointed by how people have reacted. But I have no issue with Alakazam. I have no ill will towards anyone. Um, So for anyone who does think that there is some sort of secret uh, agenda here or, or some crazy... Uh, Illuminati thing in the magic industry. I I have not done any of this or responded in any way with with ill will towards anyone. All right, that's no, that's it. That's very nice to say. I would like to leave that sort of bit there. I don't want to yeah, get too sorry. much. Yep. No, that's no, fine. I don't want to get too much. I, a, I've only got the cheap um, the cheap Zoom, so I've only got. Four <laughs> um, <laughs> right. uh, and I think if we go into too much into personalities yes. and, and, and yep. how they behaviour and and all of that, um, I'm very mm-hmm. pleased that you're looking well because um, it's very easy to get stressed and it's very easy for mm-hmm. people to say comments and 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 you know those comments to be taken however they're taken and stuff get out yes. of hand. So, so that's great. Um, I so I would say that that it wasn't so much that it was that it well, well, you'll get to answer but i was gonna say so from mm-hmm. what i've understood it wasn't so much that the review uh was a negative on the trick it was more that there seems to be a, a sense that what you said was inaccurate now we'll, we'll come mm-hmm. to the, all of those things and i think that that was what people took an issue with more than you say the trick wasn't for you which is fine it was more the, the why you said you thought the trick was a bad trick, whatever, 
um, they feel that that was inaccurate. Um, so that 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 is what I think caused more of a, ru a ruckus than the fact that it was a negative review. Um, you now here's one of the things. So you start your review with the phrase, "This is a complete waste of time," mm -hmm. and I think we just spoke about this briefly yesterday. I yes. feel that that was the wrong opening statement. I think I think if you start a review like that, that that phrase is going to stay in people's heads, despite what you say afterwards. Despite mm. you know, it, it clouds everyone's judgment for the next uh, half an hour. Even if you say it may not be for you because of this, you've told them it's a complete waste of time. Do you, would would you say yes. that that's a fair assessment? That uh, yes, and again, there are there are some complexities to this. Uh, the the first minute, the first sixty seconds of every one of my reviews, or or the more recent ones where I have this structure of the TLDR, the too long didn't read um, part of the the review. The whole point of that is to create a very short synopsis. And yes, in retrospect, perhaps I shouldn't have used those words. I, I do honestly believe that for most people, for most magicians, it is a bit of a waste of time. I do feel that most people will buy the fool or they won't because it's out of stock now everywhere. It's been sold out. So, you know, it, it's my belief that... Um, most people it will go into their magic drawers and this is what i was trying to convey with that message should i have said it the way i said it probably not no what was it um a bit too harsh probably yes uh, and could i have been fairer on null and the trick as a whole and just rather than saying what i said say i don't really like the trick and i, and I can't recommend it to you but here's why yes absolutely i could have done that um, and of course, with with the experience from this review, uh, that's something that I will, I will definitely take more care of in the future, um, because I, as I've said in many comments and replies, I want people to buy more magic. I want I love magic. I love the art of magic. You know, I, I don't want people to be fighting. It's fine to have a difference of opinion. Um, but yes, to answer the question because of time limitations. Um, yeah, of course, uh, you know, I regret using the exact wording i do um moving forward i i, I will try to think uh, um, more clearly about a, a fairer way to start the reviews of course do i disagree with what i'm saying no i do still think it's yeah. a valid point in my opinion but yes yeah the wording um maybe i should have used different words yeah i think it's quite uh, funny there's a on Radio 4 yesterday morning, there was an interview with a theatre critic. And, uh, yeah, so that was how I sort of pointed out. And and, and to be fair, um, in a lot of your chapters, you also start with a very, very strong negative, even if you then mm -hmm. go on. So um, that's just me, just a bit of recommendation, really, about okay. um, how, to, how to sort of... Um... Uh, and, and, of course, as well, with all of my reviews, past, uh, present and future, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be over negative. I'm not trying to be overly positive. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to, um, you know, I have two objectives with my reviews. Show people what they actually receive without giving away the method, which if people had looked through all of my last yeah. two, two years worth of reviews, they will see that I do do my absolute best to protect the secret and protect the method and, and not allow people to recreate the tricks from what I what. But as we all know, certain trailers are not the most honest representation of some tricks and i'm not i'm not trying to talk about the fall here i'm just saying in general so i have been very annoyed in the past buying certain magic tricks that that are not what yep. they promise to be so this like these are my two things my purposes with my review channel i want to show people what they actually get and yep. then also give my opinion on on right. whether you know, in, in, again, my opinion, whether these things work in certain situations and, of course, the structure of my reviews, the TLDR, the angles, the, the these yeah. my what I say is not gospel. You know, please do yeah. go watch other reviews. My, do not look at my review channel religiously. 
And that's no, not watch my the Monster Magic ones and subscribe. That's very important. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Monster Magic is is you know uh, something that's blessed us this year, and we we need we need to give magic. And this is the thing as well. People have been so negative about this. I just want to support the community. I just I want magicians to get along, and I want magicians to to do better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So all good. Much respect. Here we go. So now. So um, now this is where I'm going to be talking about the bits that seem to be caused all means. with the issues. Um, first of all, I'm going to go for the bunny, the bunny rabbit gate um, of uh, precision made gimmicks, handmade gimmicks. Now, I understand from you uh, that having watched your review, that handmade doesn't mean necessarily they've been made by hands. That's obvious. Most things are made by hand, but that they are in some way difficult and precision. And you actually say in your uh, review, um, these aren't precision made. Now, do you still stand by that, bearing in mind? Have you watched the review? Uh, sorry, not review. Have you watched the the full instructions from Noel? Yeah, yeah. At the very end of the instructions from Noel, he tells you, he, he shows you how to build another gimmick because he does say that the gimmick will not last forever. And Noel actually says himself at the end, you can make the gimmick with you don't have to use the the precision made because i i i wasn't aware that there was so much attention to detail with the yep. so, thing no, so i'm going to stop you there because no, okay. okay. this is what you get in the box what you get in the box i i now i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna tell you that this is you might say it's opinion they mm -hmm. are precision made handmade gimmicks that is, yeah. that, that is a fact. So um, when you did your review, I'm pretty certain that that was um, one of those things that was like, that is just not the case. You cannot literally make that gimmick that good. Yeah. Split the card, put those, put those gimmicks in exactly the right place. That card can be orientated either way and so on. So, so that. Bit... Okay. If, if I can, if I can add just a little bit to that, Again, at the end of the tutorial, when you buy the trick, there's five minutes at the end where Noel says, he says himself, you can make this gimmick again with two old cards, a, any bit of plastic that is similar, yep. and a bit of tape. He literally says you that can is use only any one, plastic that is, and yeah, tape. That is only one of the gimmicks. That's not the other gimmick. That, that, that is true, yes. The, the other aspect of the gimmick, I do understand that is handmade. Um, but I I, was, I'm going to call you up on this now, okay? Because okay. this is this is me. I'm not trying to be Paxman. God, God, God's God sake. Yeah. Um, but uh, in that box that you get delivered, yes. you do receive handmade precision gimmicks. I agree with you. And as I said, I did not know the you know it if if um you know Noel does say in the tutorial as well about that he spent so much time uh you know with with dave at prop dog with uh i forget the the other guy's name who who has created the other yeah, i feel um, sorry yeah, everyone, everyone's forgotten his name but he doesn't yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh you know my and again this goes back to me me opening the review um potentially too negative than i should have um perhaps i should have elaborated in this in the in the my review because when when you say that you are receiving uh, precision made gimmicks, which of course I don't disagree with you, they are precision. -made. What you receive in the box are precision made gimmicks. But when then at the end of the tutorial you're explaining that you can recreate the same gimmick with uh, any, one any old bit of plastic. To oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th there is another part of the gimmick. Yes, that is true. And uh, you know I have not tried to recreate this, so I can't say. Uh, without giving too much away uh, that other aspect of the gimmick I haven't tried to make it and uh, I don't doubt the effort that's gone into that uh, you know I think uh, Mr Petty went over the how complicated it was to make this yeah. part of the gimmick um, again I sorry I, I I don't know this this is not really no, mentioned fine. like no it's fine, um, it's fine. I think I think I think this has been uh, you know, put under a microscope where if you take the other parts, the, my argument parts, 
and you take into consideration that Noel says you can recreate this quite easily, then, you know, if people are going to put one, one part of my argument under a microscope, but not the other part of my argument, I think that's a bit unfair. And that's why I think a lot of, a lot of people- I will, no, I, 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 know, I know what you're getting at. And again, I'm very conscious of time and I don't, I don't, I don't know how yes. long we're going to chat for. So we can yeah. come back. I'm more than happy to come back to something, but I want to right. get through everything. Um, yes, yes. But yeah, but so um, yeah, so I think we can. So just to summarise that, I would perfectly happily agree that uh, one of the gimmicks uh, you can recreate. Yes. But the other part, um, I am one hundred percent probably not. Sure, yeah. Um, is a skilled job. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm happy to agree with you on that as well. Excellent. There is there is a part that you know yeah. most most people couldn't. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, angles now uh you say it cannot be performed uh 360 degrees now if i'm mm -hmm. right so in magic parlance to me that would hint that if someone sometimes you you might be doing something with coins or bands that if someone goes sort of goes beyond that 180 it creeps into the 200 odd degree mark they can see some funny stuff going on behind in, in 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 my magic now this is my magic interpretation yours might be different um mm -hmm. you've then since explained that what you meant by that wasn't that if you've got people around you 360 degrees they can see the secret they're gonna you're you're not going to be revealing how the magic happens but their view of the magic moment will be blocked is that is that correct it's partially correct, yes. Again, there's a little bit of nuance to this, but the 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 main point that I was making in the review is that in the trailer, it says that it can be performed, you know, surrounded or 360 degrees, or well, I forget the exact phrasing they use. But in my opinion, when you when you are performing it, when you are the performer, you are stood performing it, and then you have one person, um, if you do the, the optimum uh, routine that Noel explains, you have one uh, two people holding each side of the bag. Yeah. So you've got two people next to you and you have to be like not intimately close, but you have to be quite close to these people. Yeah. And then the person, the person in front of you. Um, so if we take that example, what I said was you're blocking out 60 percent of the audience. So in my opinion, this is not a 360 degree performance. And also um, when you put the card through the bag, um, because, of course, there's been there's been. Um, some criticizing of, of the card uh, and the hand sizes and stuff. Uh, and if you are having to like keep it in a, a deep cop position or anything like this, uh, there's, but if you are performing it with people all around you, 360 degrees, there is a potential that when you, when you, when the card passes through and then you relax, yes, all of the heat is on that bag. If you're a good performer and, and you know what you're doing and how you perform, but if you relax like that, everyone behind you could could catch a glimpse. Uh, okay, I can't see and, how you're and, relaxing, but, okay. but but from but from, from uh, my view, if I can see my hand, um, yes, uh, there's a slap, and then my hand's back on the deck. Yes, and that that is the that is the prime um, uh, way method uh, routining method handling. Sorry, yeah, for me. I don't like that because I think it's very obvious that you then put your hand and like I had a lady at an event recently who it was it was a it was a big uh, dinner like uh, award show I would I had a suit on I had a watch on I was you know I was doing magic tricks around the table she looked at my watch and saw in between me doing magic tricks moving around the table she saw that my watch was not set to the right time and she said to me why is your watch wrong I, I was like for her to look up for to take that detail and question me on it was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so again, it may be different for different people. If you're performing this but, for your friends Scott, in the, for bar, that example, the angles not, might not. It's like for, in that example, I mean, how many times does that happen to you? Yes, not many. No. Yes. So, but but all of these uh, over my career, these small details, like the amount of times. This is I, I don't really use loops anymore because the amount of times someone has said to me, you've got a hair on your wrist and literally tried to pick <laughs> it off of me. Yeah, yeah. It amazes me that people have this attention right. to detail and they're scrutinizing me so heavily. 
but like this is something I, mean, I would argue. To... So here's here's yeah. my argument. Having having been out there and done it, I haven't cared yeah. less about people behind me. I have been mm -hmm. that card has been back on that the deck during the moment of madness when mm -hmm. the thing goes through. Um, so I suppose I would say. It, uh, so okay, so let me let me give one more example quite quickly. If you're performing extreme burn up here at your, the chest height and you're rotating like this, yeah. you can truly have people 360 yeah. degrees. No one has to be stood in front of you blocking other people. Yeah. You can literally have you can perform it as a busker on the street in Covent Garden. Yeah, that that is a true 360 degree performance. You have the you, I'm trying to you have the you have okay. the note the notes here. And then you turn them over, yeah. and no. that is truly three hundred and sixty degrees. So what I was saying, what again? This is this is a nuance, and yes, I have a responsibility to explain my my thoughts fully, but also people can comment and they can ask about this, and and it's people's other responsibility to look at other reviews as well and and say, oh, well, maybe Scott was a bit unfair on that point. I don't believe this can be performed well. 360 degrees and and it's on the trailer selling the trick that it can be put, performed surrounded yeah. i think a lot of people will struggle and i've with that. spoken so no no i i do know what you're saying and it's great that you've clarified it because i did watch your thing and i've i've read some of the comments and hopefully i think i might have carried it on my review um which um, yeah. not enough people subscribed i'm very gutted no more people <laughs> subscribe but there's still a chance i'll, um, I'll subscribe to you after this um, um and I, and I get what you're saying. I I am still one that feels that what um, you are saying. Yeah. So if there are people 360 degrees, some people's views will be blocked and they won't be getting um, a particularly good. Uh, but I, I do clarify as well in another video. You can perform. It can be performed 360 yeah, degrees. It can. But I don't think it's a good idea. And, no. I, and I also don't think that people can see it. 360 degrees right. oh. uh, which again that nuance uh, perhaps i should have gone to more detail yeah, yeah. so in think, that nuance yeah. in my review and i think that is why uh people were going like yeah i mean the yeah. people that i've met have gone like but it can but it can but it can mm -hmm. so and that's my fault that's my fault for, for not elaborating enough yeah yeah no that's great that's that's super right uh moving on there aren't too many don't worry it's all going well um uh difficult to perform um this is this mm -hmm. is the order your review was in yeah. um now um i don't think it's difficult to perform i think it's mm -hmm. fiddly it's not it's not um uh i don't want to, i don't really want to bring um uh alakazam and harry nardi into it too much yeah. but um I don't think Harry is um, is the Leonard Green of the magic world, but he has played with a lot of magic gimmicks. Um, I don't yeah. generally like, I'm, I'm as gimmickless as I possibly can be. So for me, it was quite daunting and I found it fiddly. I do find it um, a bit of a faff, but I didn't find it difficult. I mm -hmm. found, you know, it was, it, was all, it was all a bit different, but it wasn't difficult. It was easy. There's no, you know, there wasn't anything that I felt was beyond me it was yeah. it was all just a bit of learning of how the gimmicks worked so what well, oh, oh, sorry go on, go on i'm just more curious whether you think difficult was possibly the wrong word yeah i i think i think how i how i summed that up was that you need to be an intermediate magician and one of those reasons is not just because of the handling and the get ready and and you know the various moves that have to be done to perform the routine it's also the fact that your audience management needs to be pretty good yeah you, the, like there's even a part in the tutorial where noel says if people are holding the bag too tightly or too loosely it the the gimmick won't activate properly like you have to be a pretty good performer to perform this this is not a beginner trick this is not something that that you can pick up easily if and of, of course as well you know i i don't know the demographic who watch my reviews i can't say they're all professionals i can't say they're all amateurs i can't say they're all semi-professionals or hobbyists or but in my opinion most of the people the, the the professionals is the smaller majority yeah. in in people who buy magic tricks there are yeah. a lot of hobbyists there are a lot of people who have other careers other jobs families and they just like magic on the side and they just do it for fun 
And I do believe these people, this demographic, will find it quite difficult to perform it. And not just because of the slights and the um, the routining, also because of the audience management. Okay. So, uh, what, so okay, right. So let me just quickly try and clarify this. Um, it's not so what saying. So I don't think there is really a slight in it. Or a traditional slight. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah. Maybe slight so, is is the wrong word, but there yeah. there are moves that you need to. Yeah, do. you have to do something. You have to learn how to do how the gimmick works. You do have to. Yeah. So I'll agree. You. So here we go. You do need uh, audience management skills. Mm -hmm. I think you also need to have some skills in handling cards as well. Oh, like yeah. If you're not, if you don't have much experience, if you've only been in Magic for six months or even a year. Yeah. Or, or even you know a little bit longer or if you're not adept at being a card magician this is not an easy trick to perform okay yeah okay yeah i mean i think yeah okay i'll um i think we're gonna i, I mean i wasn't quite sure this this was just um things that yeah. uh, uh this is how your review uh, this is the order your review was in so i'm yeah. not quite sure how we can prove what's difficult and what's easy it, it and, and of course that depends on the person as well as yeah. i say i can't I, I think there's a certain amount of responsibility for a person to look at a magic trick and say, no, you know what? I think I can do that. Yeah. Um, so as much as reviewers have responsibilities, as much as producers have responsibilities, I think also people have a responsibility yeah. to, to say, no, I can see how that works. Even Noel said on, uh, on another video, any, anyone who, and he literally said this word for word, anyone who has been into magic for three months, can guess how it works yeah uh, part of it yeah um so yeah, yeah. i I, th I think it's I, difficult I, for a lot of people i would argue so this is this is one of the things so i did go back um a few of your videos and, and so mm. i think possibly you said it's difficult to perform and i felt that was harsh because you've got sort of um assy wins double exposure and things like that um mm that you you say is intermediate so yeah and i and i would argue that you've got the scale wrong and and i'll give you right. I'll, I'll, I'll give you um a lot of uh doubt on that because it is very hard to be consistent with you know anyone who's watched strictly come dancing some dancers get an eight and others get a nine and you know whatever but uh, uh, and this I is would, this is also there. i do agree people should be aware that i am a professional magician i have been for a very long well not very long time you know a decade and I, I'm, you know, I've been practicing for 25 years. I was tutored by Colin Rose of the MIMC. I've spent time with, you know, a lot, of, most of the great magicians and, or some of, I, I won't say most, <laughs> some, a, a few of the great magicians. And for me, it was easy. And when people are watching my review, you know, my channel is called Everything Magic Pro. I am a full-time working professional. It wasn't that difficult for me. But when I say something is intermediate, you know, use use a little bit of common sense. In, infer, oh, he's a full time pro, so intermediate for him might be a bit advanced for me, who's just an amateur. Because it didn't take me long to learn. It, you know, it took me an hour or a couple of hours to learn as he wins double exposure. For some people, they'll have to practice that for six months. Yeah, yeah. No, so exactly. I I I think it's a little bit of other people's responsibility also to you know, say he's a working professional, he's performed, you know, for, for these people, I, I can see that. And, and a quick Google of my name will show you the people I've worked with. Um, and, and I think people can can add that to how it how they can make up their mind. Because again, I'm not the only reviewer. You know, Steve, Steve, actually Steve Faulkner and yourself have been two of the only people who have been very respectable and, and um, professional towards me about this. Um, so go watch other reviews. If you disagree with something that I'm saying, watch other reviews, take it all in and then create uh, your own opinion. OK, right now, this. That's all very well said. This is um, this is this is a point that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to how to tackle this one uh, too much, but the noise, Just the noise go for it. The noise yes. issue. So uh, lots of comments from from um, a well-known. Uh, I think Tom Stone is very keen on the noise mm -hmm. thing. Um, so I can I can I can clear this one up very quickly. Yes, it it was absolutely wrong of me to say there is an enormous noise. There is a noise, and I wouldn't be comfortable performing it because 
on occasion, I think I might be caught up. Well, not caught up because, again, I never say that the noise will give away the method. I've also never said in, in all of this drama that the trick doesn't work. I haven't said that it can't get good reactions. I don't personally like the trick. No. Uh, and I, I think I think there are lots of holes in it. But I've never said these things. I don't have a I don't have a good opinion of the trick. But the noise the noise, yes, I I do agree it was it was absolutely wrong of me and, and quite a gross exaggeration to say and there is an enormous noise. Okay. Well, that, um, is, that is not true. I've only got ten but minutes. There is a, but but there is a noise. There, yeah, there, there is a noise. I think the sorry, my time you've got ten minutes left. Yeah. Um there is a noise. Uh I agree with you on that. But your demonstration of the noise and how that noise is made. I would argue, I would say is incorrect. Now, what I have done is yeah. um, uh, I have uh, recorded myself slapping a piece of plat the, the the bag mm -hmm. uh, with without the gimmick and slapping it with the gimmick. So yeah. what I'm going to do? I'm going to play the two things. Well, because... I, I I for just for time's sake. Um... I, I'm going to say maybe we don't need to because it. So I the the response that I made to Alakazam, that is now unlisted. I have no right. desire to continue with this drama. I would rather we all just get up, get on. The product is sold out. I said what I said. Um, you know, s certain things I could have been nicer, fairer, absolutely. But with the noise, in that video that is now unlisted, I do say yes, of course. When you're slapping the bag, the noise. When, it's not even a slap is it it's a touch but when you're when that card passes through i never said that the noise doesn't uh, sorry not the noise the bag doesn't absorb any of the noise my issue and, I, and i've never said that if spectators hear the noise that will give away the trick i've never said that um people will know so, what you're but, doing but, but my, no, my, my issue is that so this, I, this, I wouldn't this is why it. this is this is why um, I think your review um, got the backlash. So not what you're saying now, but uh, because you say there's an audible noise, you you demonstrate the noise, and and then later you you clarify the point, which mm -hmm. is which is fine. But you've already set which is and brings and us back now, to and my thing about yeah. the noise is which is why I recorded it is the noise that you hear and that spectators hear has never been an issue for me, and I've performed it a lot. It's never been an issue mm -hmm. for anyone I've, I've known who's performed it. And the reason yeah. is the noise that you hear when you've, when you've you've put a playing card on a plastic bag and you tap the bag and the noise with the gimmick mm -hmm. when you tap the bag, the noises are identical. I could play them now yeah. if you have it, but, but literally I have tested it on people and they cannot mm -hmm. hear the difference. So, so, so the noise, although there is a noise, that noise is not incongruous with what you are actually doing. And it's impossible. I swear it's impossible for anyone mm -hmm. to tell whether that is done with a gimmick or anything else, even if you know what's happening. This brings us back to the original thing that you asked me at the beginning, Alex. Do I have any regrets? Yeah, of course. I shouldn't have said an enormous noise. I should have elaborated more on how and why. I, I don't like the noise and I should have gone into a little bit more depth to say, you know, I should, the, the explanation that I gave in my follow-up video where I say, of course, the noise won't get, won't, I'm not saying it will give away the secret. I'm not saying the spectators will be able to guess how it's done. I'm saying that I wouldn't personally perform it because situations that I'm in, I, I don't think it would work very well. And I think that as a working professional, because this is advertised as the ultimate walk around, mm -hmm. I have things in my pockets. I'm not. I'm just not going to dedicate the pocket space for this trick. But to go back to your your opening question, of course, I do regret not making these clarifications in my original review, and that that was unfair of me on, on towards Noel and towards the effect. Um, the the noise is an issue for me. Maybe it's a mental issue. Maybe maybe you know if I performed it for many months that would no longer be an issue for me. But in terms of reviewing and the practicing and performing that I've done, I, it's a thing that I don't like about the trick. And if I was going to perform that at an intimate dinner or an intimate situation where it's fairly quiet, which happens often for me, yeah. 
it, I wouldn't be comfortable performing it because people would hit, take it a little bit so off. This is, this is it. So this, okay. You, do you not want me to play it? Uh, no, you you can, of course. I, I'm just conscious of time. I, I agree with you. I just you, want to though, play it just quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, do, I think it's do. quite an interesting point because I agree there's a noise. But the noise flies because it's exactly what you would hit, and it might help yeah. you. It might it might even might even turn you around to um to uh to, to the trick. I, I doubt it very much, but uh, here we go. So uh, can you? Uh, does that come up? Yes. Right. So if I play it now, hopefully you can hear it as well. I haven't tested this out. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I can't. I can't hear it. I can see the bar playing the noise, but I can't hear oh, the actual sound. Shame. Oh well. Okay. Never mind. Maybe I'll stick it on. Um, uh, maybe it's on mute. No. Yeah. Oh well. Maybe, uh, up, maybe but... you could. Maybe you can insert it later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. How do I get? How do I get you back? Uh, stop sharing. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll stick it on. But it is exactly the same. Um, yeah. But there we go. Um, I think that's probably. So I think we have for, great. We've got three minutes left is there um uh a jacket uh, you mentioned a jacket mm -hmm. now that is really just for pocket space rather than I'm, i hope i'm right in saying this yeah so again it's not the ultimate worker right uh, for me an ultimate worker would have less pocket space uh i know that a few people have said you can perform it in t-shirt and trousers yeah of course you can i wouldn't getting the, the deck out of your jeans pocket or chino's pocket or back pocket is for okay. me not the preferable handling and uh, I absolutely wouldn't carry a piece of rolled up acetate in my pocket at a gig it's, sure. it's just never gonna happen if someone else wants to do that they can yeah. and if if it, if it works for them they can good I'm happy for you and if someone buys you know if someone buys the fall or you know now or when it comes back into Scott or whatever happens and they like it I'm happy for them good go out perform it enjoy it I just I'm not a fan of the trick. And yes, I have been a little bit unfair in some of the things that I've said. And could, if I, I said, I sent a message, a nice message to Craig Petty today. And I said, you know, I'm sorry for all of this. I, I my intention was never, never bad about this. And I, I, I can't control what people are saying to you, but I wish yeah. we didn't have to go through this. No. Okay. I wish that people weren't being attacked. I wish that people weren't having personal insults thrown at them because of my silly little review on my review channel that has like less than 1500 subscribers. Must go ask. It must be more than that by now. No. So Craig said this in a video <laughs> yesterday as well. Like I, from, from all of this stupid drama, I've maybe 200 people, 250 people have subscribed. I'm not really benefiting from this. People are saying that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to um, monetize this. I, I've really not gained like anything out of this okay well that's it i've got 90 seconds so um i'll be right. better wrap it up there but um thanks very much for taking the time scott to talk to me i hope we've uh we've clarified um pretty much everything. i hope so <laughs>